<coughs> so we haven't seen too many uh, devices from Honor recently, but uh, here we have their latest in front of me, the Magic 5 Pro. Whoa, the first thing I notice is this enormous camera section. Very glossy, kind of polished look on the back. I see 100X on this periscope style zoom. Symmetrical layout on the back as well. So one, two, three camera units. Power, volume rocker, type C on the bottom, SIM tray. Now the whole thing feels pretty slim in the hand. Substantial waterfall effect on the ridge of the device. And it looks like we have dual front facing cameras. It really gives the impression of a lot of screen given the body size because of this aggressive waterfall situation. Definitely this thing is dominated by this camera unit on the back. This is pretty typical style of case, so you have some protection out of the box. I think it's a nice bonus to have. Popping open the SIM tray, it looks like we have a dual SIM setup. Here is the power brick, which is capable of 66 watts. is pretty respectable. Tiny little orange accents on the inside of these USB cables as well. Special animation to indicate how fast it's charging. Max 66, we see the little bubbles going in, and of course, we see the charging going up in real time. All right, so I'm curious about this front-facing camera setup because it does have this dual design, and I am actually seeing three options for front-facing camera. There is 1X, 0.8X, and 0.7X, which is interesting. In the wide setting, you could do a group selfie really easily without even outstretching my arm that far. Mo, we could get like six people in here, man. Probably pile in all the pow. There's Mo. There's me. Blue Steel, obviously. Jeez. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try out the 1X. And uh, this one ups the detail quite significantly. I really like the color temperature on this. It didn't like overdo it with the skin tone or anything. There are a couple of other settings here for bokeh in the background. This dual camera layout, one is a 3D depth camera specifically for enhancements in portrait mode, effective bokeh effect in the uh, background, whereas the, the uh, other unit is a 12 megapixel camera. When portrait first came out, you saw a lot more of this functionality and then companies kind of got away from it and they were like, we're gonna do it exclusively in software. And in this case, they're putting that extra front facing uh, module for 3D depth, so, ooh, wow. Yeah, I mean, that's a that's a serious portrait effect going on. You can see how substantial the focus fall off is. It's almost as wide as our actual camera, maybe wider. So that's an outstretched arm. Look how wide that is. Flip it around though, because the exciting camera is on the back. Here, we're actually seeing four options. So we're seeing 0.5, 1X, 3.5, and 10. Standard 1X setting, we can go ahead and boom. 0.5 pulls us out kind of wide in quite a bit and 10 is gonna get us big time in camera versatility in here is pretty substantial like this is your starting point to go from here to here to here is some some pretty substantial reach the reason they're writing 100x on the back is they they believe that you've got enough resolution to keep going. The optical zoom is 3.5 apparently. So in standard photo mode, you can keep zooming to 100X. This is where software is going to kick in. But actual optical range, 3.5X on the zoom. And each of the sensors, wide, ultra wide, and zoom lens, 50 megapixels. So lots of pixels to work with. Now let's go ahead and launch the video mode. Uh, 60 frames for 4K, which is nice. Uh, this is a sample of 4K 60 frame video and audio coming out of the Honor Magic 5. Wow, it's actually... Looks good? Well, I'm, I'm just trying to... Yes. Like a Jeez, vlogging dude. camera? I, I'll show you after, but right. it's a lot of detail in there. Good detail or more gray beards? What are we well, no, 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 it's bad detail, but good detail. We got filters and new beauties and stuff like that. On this channel, we're trying to see what it actually looks like. So we kind of want to see it with all that stuff off and pretty nice 4K look, 4K video here, particularly when I get close to Mo there. I mean, the yeah, microphone sounds good too. All right, so yeah, as a video maker, I think pe you know, people are gonna be satisfied with that. And then you got slow-mo, panorama, there's a macro mode a multi-video mode, that's pretty cool. So this one uh, allows you to have multiple angles. You can use the front-facing camera and rear-facing camera simultaneously. I kind of like the feel of this device. Wow, 6.81. See, I felt like it was smaller than that, 
And I think the reasoning is just how curved these edges are. It feels really slim in your hand. Yeah, 120 hertz OLED as well. Smart resolution, it'll actually change dynamically. High, standard, and low. The same goes for screen refresh. There's actually four options here, which is kind of cool. Often you'll see two options, sometimes three, but here we've got four. Dynamic, which is obviously going to dynamically switch all the way up to 120 hertz given the scenario. High is going to lock it at 120 hertz, use more power. Medium settings kind of cool, 90 hertz, lock it in there. And then your power saving comes in at standard mode at 60 hertz. So fun, dude. All right, so complete specs, Magic 5 Pro. Uh, it's coming in at 219 grams, 6.81 inch LTPO quad curve floating display up to 120 hertz under refresh as mentioned. 1800 nits as far as peak brightness is concerned and the resolution 2848 by 1312. There's a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip in there, so flagship level as far as the chip is concerned. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and flagship kind of specs all the way around, 12 gigs of RAM, 512 storage, or at least up to, it'll probably be sold in a couple of different varieties. Now that telephoto is capable of three and a half times optical zoom, but obviously Honor is advertising the fact that it can do up to 100X in digital zoom. Front-facing camera can also do 4K video. That'll be capped at 30 frames. It is IP68 certified. It has a 5,100 milliamp hour battery. So if you were wondering about those 219 grams, likely a big part of that is having a 5,100 milliamp hour battery. It'll also do 50 watts wireless charging. So the Magic 5 Pro has this really cool camera feature. It's called yeah. the AI Motion Sensing Capture. Now the way this works is you enable the feature and then Got when it. an action takes place, Ooh. the photo is captured automatically. Oh, airborne. <laughs> it got it, no, it got it, good. Yeah. Works. It's also got 2160 Hertz PWM dimming, which is apparently an industry first. PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation. So this will reduce fluctuations in screen brightness and decrease the occurrence of flickering. These are things that can obviously cause eye strain. Fingerprint and face recognition options. Fingerprint obviously going to be under display. A few different options for fingerprint animations too, which I like. Let me go for something crazier like burst fireworks. Now, Honor has obviously gone up market with this device. You've got flagship specifications, 12 gigs RAM. Obviously, the latest Snapdragon is in there. 5,100 milliamp hour battery. You've got fast charging, wireless, and wired. And you've got a triple 50 megapixel setup, so you're probably gonna have to pay for it. It's coming in at $1,200 USD. What are you doing? Are you buying or are you selling?